Hello everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the point slope form of a linear equation. So up till now, we have already looked at two other ways of writing a straight line or a linear equation. And that was the, um, not point, slope intercept, which is the one that went y equals to mx plus c, but some teachers change that to a b. It doesn't really matter. So c or b, it's your choice. The other one that we looked at in the previous section was standard form, which was the one where uh, it goes, oop, not like that, ax plus by equals to c. So that's what we looked at in the previous section. Now we're looking at point slope. So as the name suggests, we're going to use a point and we're going to use a slope. So what it looks like is the following. Y take away Y1 equals to M bracket X take away X1. So M is the slope, which is where we get the, uh, whoa, Kevin, which is where we get slope. And then we're also going to substitute a random point into the equation. That's where the X1 comes in and the y1 comes in. So that would be a random point that we have, either on a graph or a point that they give us or something like that. And then this y and this x, you're just going to leave that alone, just like we've always done. We've always left this one alone, you leave that one alone, you leave that one alone, you leave that one alone. In the final answer, you never fill that part in. So that is all that we actually need to do for point slope, is we need to go get the slope. Now we know how to get the slope, right? Um, I mean, one of the ways we've learned is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we've learned about that already. And then getting a point is really easy. Okay, so that's just the introduction to point slope. In the next lessons, we're going to learn different ways of getting it and different scenarios of how to work it out.